Do you wanna see how I set up my templates for mastering? Guess what, I'm gonna give my templates away. This week we're gonna discuss my template that I use in Pro Tools. Stay tuned. Okay, today we're gonna to talk about setting up a Pro Tools template for mastering. Also, I'm gonna give you my templates for mastering. Check the link below down in the description if you wanna get your copy. Now, first things first, we need to talk about file structure and file hierarchy. So what I like to do is obviously have a drive that's specifically for mastering. And I put all of my client work in a specific folder named clients on that drive. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the desktop for the purpose of this video, but let's pretend I have this same file structure. So in my, my hard drive, I have a folder named clients. And within that folder, I have, I organize all of my file hierarchy by artist name. And then from there inside, I have multiple projects by these artists. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna call that project one. And inside this could be, pro this project could be an album. It could be a single. I will have, when I receive the final mixes or pre-masters, I will put them in one folder. If the client has provided me any rough masters, I will put those in another folder. If the client has provided me any references, I put those in another folder. I then create a folder named waves and I'll create a folder named MP3s. If I need to export MP3s, I typically am not providing my clients MP3s because the conversion stage happens these days at the distribution level and you wanna supply the highest quality file. So I don't like to give my clients MP3s personally unless they ask, because this way it prevents them from a double conversion. So from there, here we are in Pro Tools and we're gonna go ahead and pick our desktop. And so when I create my Pro Tools session, which is the template that I'm gonna use to give away for you, I will put that into the project, which is the album or single that I'm mastering. And I'll put it right here at that project's root. And everything is grouped into that one folder. And so we'll call this distinct mastering template. And you know, with this, you're gonna want to open this up and make this a template in your Pro Tools because you're gonna want the options to do bit depth and sample rate every time. So I'll show you how you could do that at the end of the video. But once you do that, you'll be able to use your templates here like I have, but we're gonna make a blank template today and typically, you know, when you are receiving your files, you want to check the final mixes to verify what they are. If they're 24 bit, 96K or 48K, you need to match what the client provided you. I always match the final mixes, not the rough masters, not the references. Now, what I then do is create that. And so here we are with a blank template. And what we're going to do is we're going to create some tracks. So you can use Command Shift N, which is the key command to create new tracks. I want one stereo audio track and I'm gonna call this tracks. And this is where I'm gonna place my client's final mixes. You can have another stereo one here for rough masters if you'd like. And you can have another one here for references if you'd like as well. Personally, I like to have, I like to organize this a little bit different and I will show you how I do that in a second. But for the purpose of this, these are three audio tracks and I've named them. And then I'm gonna need two stereo auxiliary inputs. We're gonna call this one EQ and we're gonna call this auxiliary input, make that sure that's stereo, compression. And we'll just do comp for short. I then need one stereo master fader and I'll leave that called master. We'll go ahead and create this. Now, I personally like to organize this more like this where I have my rough masters and my references down below and I have my working stuff right here. And what I need to do now is I need to set up my routing. So these need to route directly to my master. So these are perfectly fine. These are set to my output one, two. What I want this tracks track to do is route straight to the EQ auxiliary input. And then I want that to route straight to the compression input. So what's happening is the music is flowing from this track, through this track, through this track, down to the master. And typically you're gonna work with these muted, so keep that in mind. Now, if you caught my previous videos on how to do your own mastering, you can check that out, I'll leave you a link. And what that will show you is how this template actually works. 
But typically what I'm doing here is I'm fixing any problems on the track level or problems on the EQ level with inconsistencies with the tracks or fixing sonic problems. And then I'm doing sonic enhancements. I'm working on my compression and limiting stage and I'm getting on my final output stage. I then would bounce these tracks using this bounce feature, print the files and then cut them up, put fades and give you the files for verification, make sure the masters are good. And that's how you set up this template in a nutshell. The last thing you can do with this template is you can go ahead and save this as a template. So if you open up my template, if you download it, link below, you could save this as a template in Pro Tools and now it will be in your Pro Tools and just call it Mastering Template. So I hope this helps you out to set up your own mastering templates. Go ahead and grab mine down below. Next week, we're gonna show you how to do this in Ableton. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up your mastering templates in Pro Tools. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment down below. I'm gonna be giving away my mastering template, so make sure you check the description and find that link to grab your copy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and the bell notification will keep you up to date. My name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering. Next week, we're gonna be talking about the same template and how to set it up in Ableton, so stay tuned. And if you wanna learn how to master your own songs, be sure to go back and check that out. I'll leave you a link right here. Thanks again.